Hi everyone, it's Kay here. We're going to make some cards today with the Uniquely Creative Steampunk Graffiti Kit, which is the new one for August. It's very poppy and bright with lots of steampunk elements. And I've already done some fussy cutting, as you can see. And um, got some really sort of different elements with some plastic ones, like this one here. Aren't they lovely? So, anyway, I've got some bases here, and I've cut this base sideways out of this sheet here, that one there. So I've just cut it sideways because I wanted just to have no um, decoration on that. And this one I cut uh, from there, that sheet there, like that. So, just to create this base, but I'm going to do this one first. So now I've got time, I'll do the other one. I've already found mandated on, not found mandated already put it on some um, packaging just to sort of pop it up like that but I'm going to do the tag first. I've had, um, had a little bit of a play but not overly so. I'm going to use the stencil that came in the kit and I was going to just do black but then I've decided to do a bit of brown because I've cut this out of um, the dye that came with industrial standard and I'm going to maybe use a bit of that too. I don't know yet. Depends on how things work out. <laughs> oh, that didn't come out very well, did it really? Be hard, okay. Maybe we should have done black. I've come out better. It looks alright in brown, but maybe it would have been better in black. it out a bit more. Let's see if I can find a pattern. Yeah, that is better. Just gonna find the pattern. <laughs> I can find the other ones really easy. This one not so not so much. But, oops, it would help if I did the right thing. Got the lead K. Done that before. Okay, so just a little bit of brown in there, a bit of tones. So I'm going to use the chipboard elements that I've already pre- uh, coated with uh, the black black sparkle brush that you could buy from the I don't need to check to see if it's still available. I know the clear one hasn't been available for quite a while, which is a bit disappointing. But perhaps I need to ask if they're going to do any more. <laughs> they're pretty good like that. Depends on how much of a uh, request they get. Oh. This was broken really badly. Maybe I could hopefully put it together again well by putting it there. So I'm going to use some glue and I didn't check to see if it was going to come out. I've got ink all over me from where I was doing the inking of the, the dyes that I used. This was, I just dyed some grey paper and did it brown. These ones were white. So made a bit of a mess <laughs> to get the effect I wanted because I couldn't find anything that was sort of like that rust colour I don't know if you can buy it, paper that's sort of rust colour I'd have to look look online this one is going to be interesting putting it together because it's all broken in bits Sometimes I see anything wrong with wooden elements that do do break a bit. No matter how careful you are, it's going to get black all over me now from just handling the broken bits. Just hold. 
hold it there for a minute. Didn't do that join very well, did I? Oh well. Artistic license. Go put something on top of it, you might not notice it. So I was umming and ahhing about doing one of these elements on top and I decided that I would, wouldn't do that <laughs> and I would use something different. See there's all these really fun elements. Oh, I'm not going to use one of those. I'm going to be just using some of these cogs I think that I've cut and use the... Um, Coloured ones on top, maybe. We'll just leave them. This is from the kit. These are the die cuts from the kit. We'll just leave them in the brown. It's not sort of steampunk, but we could do that. We could use one of these elements here just to sort of. No, I'm going to use the cogs like I thought I was going to. Just on the side there. Smaller ones, maybe. Yep. Let's put some glue on those. The one thing about this triple die is that you can cut it out however you want, which is a good thing. Like you can cut it and then just put it on your Thing, you know, the layout or the card you're making and then it seems to to fit. I'm going to use this one, just this one here. I don't know if that looks like steampunk-ish, so I might have to find something else on which glue on there. The, the um, these elements will work. Let's have a look on top like that. Yeah, sort of like that, actually, quite quite like that. So I might actually pop that up a little bit. Um, on what? On a bit of card. Oops. See this one, so just use this bit here. Just pop that over there, otherwise, it's going to keep falling. Might be <laughs> such an odd shape that I might be easy just to get some foam ones out. Let's get some foam ones out after all that. Sorry, I'm just going to. Right, so look. Maybe I need to put one up to the top here so it keeps at the top or the bottom. I reckon it's the bottom. A thin sliver. The sun is out outside. When I had this, went into this room to do some crafting, I was really hoping it would go by the window, but I can't because of we have shutters, those plantation shutters, on the window and. Um, you can't open the windows if the desk is there. Open the shutters, should say, if I put my desk there. So it was not convenient, unfortunately. 
because it needs something else. Let's put that one down there. This is by the back of a, another collection of digital one that I haven't used. This is the way the title was. Do I want anything else? Words, maybe. Mm. I have this idea for this one here, which is I don't know if it's going to work. It could be a waste of time doing it, but I have to try. do a little bit of cutting around the end. I've chopped off the top of the X so I might have to see how I can fix it. Mm, don't know if it actually works. Could just do dare. like in a, in a um, vertical pattern. So we're just going to cut that off, cut that off, and cut that off. Sorry, I'm concentrating on cutting. Not talking. Talking to my mum this morning and uh, she didn't sound very good to start off with and then she said she'd be doing some things before she had something to eat and drink so we talked about how perhaps we need to do that first because she's getting older now and uh, I think as we get older we forget to do those things and uh, think, oh yeah I'll just do this I'll just do this but before you know it you don't feel too good I know myself that uh, my husband goes for a walk before breakfast I can't do that I need to have something to eat first so I go for a walk when he does because it's just too hard otherwise I feel yucky and horrible I didn't chop that off did I like the other ones I reckon that looks good. That way there. I'm going to keep those and decide whether I'll keep them, do that later. And I might um, do some like texture, and <coughs> I'm sorry, and uh, shade that in. Probably should have done it off, off the card, off the, the tag, I should say. Not card, but it's going to be card. I'm doing the things on the tag first before it becomes a tag, a card. Goodness me, card tag. Get the words mixed up here. But anyway, so 
she rang back to tell me, she, this is my mum now, who said, I said to her, he wasn't feeling very good to start off with when I rang her this morning. And um, she rang, she said she would ring me back later, so she did, about half an hour after. And because she'd had something to eat and drink, she was feeling a lot better, so, like I said, we talked about not doing things before she had something to eat and drink. Uh, she's uh, 87 now and you've got to as you get older apparently that you can get a bit feel a bit odd if you don't have water or fluid okay there that's one to go on this one here and I ummed and ahed about <coughs> putting some of these underneath Here's the one I cut, this one here. Could do. So that's why I left the, <coughs> the um, sides free so I could tuck some things underneath there if I wanted to. This is probably. I don't know, it's not probably grungy rather than steampunky, but that's alright. Industrial? I don't know. That's not coming off. That's not coming off. Got it. So that's going to go there on top. And I did, it. <coughs> I did ink the edges as well with... Black soot and then with vintage photos. So I'm just going to cut this off here. It's going to go there. Like so. And then the same for this one down here. Or should I just put that one up there as well? Or could I? <coughs> Sorry, I'm just trying out different things here. Shouldn't do that really. Got a few butterflies. Maybe I could just do a little butterfly at the side. No, that would look a bit odd. What else have I got? So I've got different things I've cut out here, so I don't know if anything else will work. So if I use another one of those, it would be cut that in half and use another one underneath. This doesn't really go, does it? And it does say to me I have wasted because I haven't really, because it could be used in something else. It's all right. We'll go back to that plan that I had before. Here. Yeah. No, I think it looks better there. No, I don't know now. I'm confused. I think that what I might do is get one of these pipes. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it all tangled up because of the way I've cut, cut, been cut. That's better. That's better. I suppose I should have cut the white bits off, but it's okay. And 
So this one can go here. Make it more steampunkish, I think. Okay. Put them over there. <laughs> Never throw anything away. So that's my first one. I've got time for another one. Hopefully it won't take me as long. Same thing again. <clears throat> I'll put it up on um, cardboard to, to um, keep it lifted. I'm going to, what I'm going to do with this one is a bit different. I'm going to use these frames, these pipe frames. And just layer them on top of the tag. Let's get the card out of the way. Keeping well, I'm good today, which is good. Had a few weeks of feeling a bit dizzy, but hopefully that's passed. Now, I was going to use one of these big baseball flowers. But it's not big enough, and these ones are too big. Oh, on the other hand, is that one? This one's the wrong colour. I don't want to use the lion. <laughs> There's a whole heap of things I could use here. Could use the cat. Um, I don't know. Yeah, because I did like I did like the butterfly. This might have to cut it a bit better than that. That's all. The other butterflies are too small. And the fingers. That's a bit the wrong thing, I think. On the other hand, no. I wanted to make this one a little bit sort of more feminine because of the these all the butterflies are cut out this one's about the right they can't same as that one is it that better and then the bird can go here where like i wanted it to that's why i was sort of thinking maybe the blue butterflies are better sorry i'm rambling on here and the, the bulb i do like this bulb I don't know if it goes now. Oh, fussy. Yeah, let's put this one back together again. <laughs> there it goes. Just on top like that. Slide them together so you can't see that I've actually cut them. And the bird. I have to ink the edges so it doesn't look so white. Uh, I have to put the, that in the foam. Sorry, I've got things everywhere. Because I didn't didn't know really what to put there, and um, sometimes you you don't really know. Well, I sometimes I do play with things before I work with the camera, and other times I I don't know which way to go until I put the camera on, and then I start putting things down, and I think, oh, that doesn't work the way I thought it would, and so it's a matter of trial and error for me anyway. So back to the cogs. Let's do the ones I made here. No. Nope. 
do like that but I feel like this one as well because it's got the blue and the same as this one here <coughs> I think I'm going to use that again I'm going to bit of ink here this is a an extra sheet you could buy so I, I decided to buy the extra sheet because I quite like the butterflies use sorry you probably can't see just on the edge there too much glue is coming out of my glue nozzle just the edge Maybe something there. So I think if this one blends too much in with the black down, I wonder if it would make a difference if I ink the edges. Maybe I should do it black. I think I might just stick to what I had before, just this slight edge. Go for a walk shortly in the sun. It's been 20 what today, I suppose, but in Adelaide, but it's quite warm. But it was a bit cold this morning. Warm for what, when are we in? Where are we in? August. Yeah, farmers might not be very happy because it could be no more rain and then, I don't know if they've had enough rain, and then the last couple of years we've had rain when it's sort of been um, the time where they don't want rain, you know, in November when they wanted to sort of start drying out ready for reaping. And uh, why do I know that? It's because I taught in a country school for nine years and I got on really well with the community and found out lots. Of, it was a cropping community and found out lots about their um, ways of practice and uh, that's why I know. Because we lived in the country town not far away from where I worked so that was useful. No, I haven't used any of the ones that I'm Oh, yeah, I did use that one there. I don't know if I like them though, as much as I like these ones. The thin ones for this particular. So, one, two, three, four, five. Chopped off too much. Just put the glue down there. Chop off the bits I don't need. got plenty of room for the pipes to sort of overhang the tag which is good because we didn't hang them over the top too much but 
you could do that if you wanted to and make your own envelope to fit then. This is um, slimline card bought from Uniquely Creative. Again, didn't do that last time, did it? That's better. I think it's because I've got gunk all over my fingers. And I've inked these ones around in pink. What do I use? Worn lipstick to go around the edges of this one. This one's going to come up, so I'm just going to put another little foam out under there. So it stays down. And do I want anything else? Like I did for this one here. Um, I don't want to use these elements that I cut out before. Let's do that. That way you haven't wasted them, okay? I'm prob I'll probably would use them in a different colour. I keep everything that I cut. And then I keep it to the very last minute and I still haven't used it, then I throw it away. Not throw it away, but... Okay, I can just keep on hang on to things for quite a while. Because you never know, you might need them for something. And do I need to use this one here as well, this side? Oops. Oh, lost it. You just see the background or the, the base has just got a bit of something there. So maybe not that one. Maybe underneath. Something totally different. No, to no, to no. I want to put it down there, but I don't know if it works as well as it does up here. I think I might put it up there after all that. I'm running out of time. I don't like to make videos too long. No, that's it, I think. Do I want another butterfly? Maybe. Maybe another butterfly. This is one here. Let's have a look what I've got. The red one, I think it's lovely. The white one's too pale. There's a, this one here, which is smaller. Yeah, I think I might do that and then put this one down here, birthday wishes, which comes in the kit as well. So put that up, just ink that up a little bit, sorry, holding you up from dithering, <laughs> sorry. Nothing much has been happening, like I said, just been, I'm not doing a lot, lot of been doing crafting. I've been making a Heidi journal, but that's it. And then birthday wishes can go down here. up this space that I feel that needs something there. A little greeting, that'd be good. Just still have the proper space.
Okay. And do I want any black string? Just to sort of wind my way around it. No. Oh well, we never know how to do that. <laughs> Put a string. I probably could have put it underneath my things. Anyway, that's enough for my two cards today with using steampunk graffiti from uniquely creative and um i think i think that turned out really well i'm really happy with the way they look i have a go have a play and see what you come up with thank you very much for joining me today please take care and we'll see you in the next video Bye bye